Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica X, where we last left off. We we're about to use these Lugers, put them to good use. Anyway, uh, let's have an equipment check. Don't need the ink ribbons. Not really. Not where we're going. Nope. Uh uh. Right, let's go stash these uh, bad boys away. Uh, we still got the knife. It's fine. We got. Pretty good inventory. Plenty of space. Now, let's go put these bad boys here. Uh, I always do that. I always go to equip. It's so weird that, like, you actually get an ammo counter and everything for the Lugas, but you literally... There's no ammo for them. The grip is nicely decorated. It uses 30 Luger rounds. Yeah. Kind of a shame, actually, that we, you know, never get to use them. I mean, we get to see Steve use them, but who cares about Steve, right? Now, this is a very fine room indeed. Uh, yeah, we're going to take the hangar bullets. There'll be a lot of hangar bullets, isn't there? There is indeed. Now, we actually have a... Uh, somewhat complicated puzzle here that's not actually that complicated at all something written on the memo first digit left right second digit left third digit right fourth digit right 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 yeah you must not reset whilst maneuvering this is a thing this uh, you actually have to use that combination here on this antique a music box and it's yeah it's actually really easy to do as long as you follow that particular puzzle but we don't need to do the puzzle because we've played this before and we have the code so there is no power going to it turn the computer on I we get that very questionable scene again with the two twins with the twins i should say saying two twins is kind of redundant and that actually lights that up but as i said we don't need to go through that bollocks because we know what the password is and the password is 19 7 1 Like so. This game has such a, like, cool atmosphere to it that Resident Evil games have kind of lost in recent years. It has such a creep factor. Hey, friendo! Yeah, we got another band of snatch to take out. Probably should have just, like, avoided him. And by avoid him, I mean probably should have just, like, ran around him. Because uh, if we run up this way, he then has to, like, follow us. So, but, you know, hey, whatever. Um, there's herbs here anyway, so it's fine. There's a blue herb. I mean, it's not brilliant, but a herb's a herb, right? Herbs are very difficult to actually see. <laughs> in this version of the game because everything's so freaking dark, man. And we get this lovely, love. look at that! How cool is that? Oh, oh it's so good. It's so good. Well, let's keep pushing. There's a lot of stairs to climb up. Oh, I forgot about this, dude. Can't believe I forgot about this, dude. 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 You made me fucking forget about you. But there's, you know, there's always two of these guys. Come on. There we go. Uh, he's going to hit us as well. There we go. Wow. Wow. He, he, uh, uh, mm, 
He did not take many bullets, did he? <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, well, you know, whatever. Oh, very difficult to see it here, but there's a red herb. And we'll take it. We will take it. Uh, yeah, fine. So we're going to take the red herb. Uh, I'm pretty sure, actually, is there a green herb somewhere? Is there not a green herb somewhere? Sure there was. Maybe it's... Yeah, I think it's actually inside, maybe. Yep, okay. Some really creepy camera angles here as well. This was... Oh, you know, it... It really does suck that this game didn't do very well. Um, at least it's seen as such a black sheep. It's a shame because, in my opinion, it's quite a lot better than Resident Evil Zero. Now, inside, this is where the twins grew up. This was their private residence, I guess. We have bats. We don't like bats. But we have lots of bats. Anyway, let's check this room out first. What will this room bring? A bandersnatch, apparently. Yep. There we go. We can drop him pretty easily, though. These, these guns are, you know, pretty efficient at killing most things. Just because I think each round does the same damage as a uh, handgun round. It's just you fire two of them and you fire them at a pretty disgusting speed. So it's too dark to see anything outside, yeah. Oh. Kind of really don't need more ink ribbons, to be honest. What a mess, yes. It's a very fancy and elaborate room, isn't it? There's nothing useful here. And just, just drink in that music. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, that piano. Oh, man. You know, as much as I've enjoyed Resident Evil 8, I've got such a longing for this. This era of Resident Evil, it truly was something so special. You know, you don't you don't realise how good something is until it's gone. And Resident Evil, man. Oh, what a special series. Anyway, let's stop gushing over this and keep going. taking so long my apologies alexia but i have been doing my best <laughs> the revival of the ashford family depends on your success brother i am aware of that alexia i will revive the family name myself and make you the master of the glorious ashford family do not worry brother i will handle them both myself Oof. Who is there is someone at the corridor I love her accent. <laughs> oh. so what is it, Alexia? N nothing. I believe I must have been imagining things. Let us go, brother. Hmm. Uh, looks like both of them are in there, up to no good. Interesting. And there's our uh, delicious. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, balls. We're actually on a really low, cautious state. Should have combined both of those, to be honest, and used them, but it, it doesn't matter. Another cool 60 handgun rounds. I guess there's no stopping this gravy train of bullets, is there? Uh, look at all this stuff here as well. A large-sized doll, possibly custom-made. Yeah, this is one of the best, like, music tracks in this game. It's so good. It's so ominously creepy. It's so atmospheric. Oh, 
and again. Look at it. There are gorgeous furnishings in here. Nothing useful. Shame we can't load our pockets up before we leave. These two definitely had a privileged life. We we could we could say that much, I think. Okay. But we're here for one thing. The music box is playing a beautiful melody. Something is written on the back of the lid. Red Queen and Blue King return. The path opens. Stop the music box? Yeah, let's stop that for now. Ah, interesting. Well, well, well. Looks like we have another key. Uh, take the silver key. Sure. <laughs> Good thing our hands are out of the way. Not sure why uh, that bed... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Not sure why that just, like, slaps down on us. That seems pretty bloody vicious. Can you imagine sleeping under that thing? Yeah. Anyway, we've got what we came for. Let's get out of here. So, let's move. So we've got another key. Let's go back to the palace now. And I think it's time we go see our old friend, Rodrigo. Or whatever the hell his name was. Rodriguez, I can't remember. The dude in the beginning. The surprisingly chipper and friendly... Well, he's not that chipper, is he? He's kind of like a moody little bugger, actually. But the surprisingly chipper... What? I just literally said that again. The moody bastard jailer who was surprisingly friendly. There we go. I made the words work that time. Ah, Rodrigo. Yeah, pretty sure it's Rodrigo, isn't it? These things kind of... I don't know what it is with my brain, but as I as we run down here, this always reminds me of a toilet. Because these kind of give me the illusion, at least when I'm running down here, of urinals up against, like, in a pub toilet or something. Maybe I've been to too many pubs. I don't know. Pretty fancy either way, to be fair. Well, at least that's this area pacified for now. A little bit salty that we've consumed a herb and it hasn't healed us completely. God damn it. I always hate it when that happens because it feels like a waste of a herb. I mean, it kind of isn't, but it kind of is as well. Right, we've got a blue herb. That's fine. Oh, wow. We have uh, a lot of healing, apparently. Should we... Should we keep going with these for now? MP... Uh, M100Ps? I guess we could. I suppose. We'll take that. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's go and check out the casino room. See what we have in there. Uh, I should have had... Oh, actually, I was going to say we should have probably munched down another herb, but you know what? It's fine. There's herbs in here anyway. Okay. No zombies in here. Why did I think there were zombies in here? Well, I mean, we've got more handgun bullets. Which really is pushing us up to a good uh, good level on that. I mean, it's important, really, to save your handgun bullets if you want to have fun with Claire's upgraded gun. Because um, she gets... She basically gets the Matilda in this game, which is really interesting because that's usually... Uh, Leon's weapon of choice. Now we need the... Uh, yeah, we need the um, reel for there. I love this scene as well. Oh my god, how cool does this look? 
seriously, how cool does this look? This little balcony here. I'm not sure why there's a casino here. Is it very odd? Now this music is very reminiscent of, um, at least in my mind, it reminds me of Resident Evil 2 a lot. Which makes sense, you know, it's the same sort of era. And Resident Evil 2's music uh, is just... <sighs> is it the pinnacle of the series? Maybe. It might be. I mean, it truly is just superb. Get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, we got like 200 and 221 rounds. That's quite good in my book. Let's go and make these up quickly. Combine. There we go. Yeah, these bolts are very, very powerful. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how powerful they are, but they're pretty bloody good. Uh, right, let's go use this. No, there's like two OK buttons uh, in this version. You've got X and A. Now X is the main action button in this game and A is your run button. Unless you're in the item box and then A and X do the same thing. It's really weird. Never mind. Anyway, let's go downstairs. Now in here, this room is a little bit rough. Just a little bit, you know. Nothing old Claire here can't take. Uh, that's not what we want to do. That's what we Can we concentrate on one at a time? Look. Okay, look at the range these guys have. It's mental. Right, one down. Are they both dead? Hey, yeah, it must be. I only heard one roar. Yeah, okay. It must have both died exactly the same time. That's pretty interesting. Okay, well, let's grab up some bullets. And see, we still got like 42% in these guns. You really do get a lot. Hunk's report. Yeah, this I kind of like this. Hunk was working quite a lot for these guys, I guess. So, attention of Mr. Alfred Ashford, head of the facility. Today at 16.32, I arrived successfully from the Umbrella Transportation Base with the large-scale BOW capsule. Extreme care was taken during the transport, and all 108 checkpoints were confirmed condition green in accordance with standard procedures. It is currently being stored in a freezer. In a freezer? Just any freezer? There's one thing I don't understand. We're normally assigned to special missions. Why were we ordered to transport a frozen capsule this time? I understand that this may be classified as top secret, but without knowledge of the contents, our safety could be at risk during the transport. This is especially important if the contents are potentially harmful. We would like to ask that you provide us with more information should we be assigned similar missions in the future. I still remember the good old days I spent here at the military training center. Nothing has changed since then. We will gear up for the next mission today at 2300 Umbrella Special Forces Unit Hunk. Ah, uh, we need a, a whole game with Hunk. That would be really fun. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need to get this. The uh, eagle plate. Like wondering why the eagle plate was jibbing and just pulsating. It's because there's a, uh, a dead, dead dude. Right, so let's see. We have, yeah, I think that's everything in here. Oh, is there everything in here? An earthenware pot is on display here. Yep, okay. Pretty sure that's good. Now... Let's head back. Let's head back. We're going to go back to the prison now. We're going to keep the eagle plate on us. And we're going to keep... We'll keep these guns for now, I suppose. We should have plenty of ammo for what we want to do anyway. Uh, and... Yes. Yeah, okay. 
And then we can move on. And yeah, we've got to go behind the guillotine. Yeah, so we got to go way back to the beginning of the game now. Cool. All right. See you later, Palace. I'm pretty sure we'll be back here before too long. We've got to go meet Dr. Death. I do like Dr. Death. It's a pretty cool scene. Although, unfortunately, we're almost out of recording time. I uh, might be able to get a little bit of recording time tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, this, this is a, another notable area as well where the camera seems really far out of focus. Just It's strange. Uh, right, cool. Let's go back. Now, this area is going to be crawling with zombies, but eh. We'll just avoid them. I mean, it wouldn't take that much to take those guys out, but there's just no point. Hey, friend Arena. Oh, we got the knife, haven't we? We do have the knife. So, really... Pretty sure if we kill these guys here... Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Pretty sure if we kill these now, they don't actually come back. Now, one thing that's worth mentioning as well, uh, if you're aiming at two separate enemies, Claire doesn't always readjust her aim afterwards, which is really strange. So if like one enemy goes down and the other one uh, is still active, she won't re-aim the second uh, gun. Of the living target or the undead target, which is just uh... I mean, is there any point? Not really. Just got to fight that collector mania instinct. What are you doing here? Hemostatic medicine. How kind of you. Thanks. Here, let me help you with that. Thanks, but I can take care of myself. Just go. Keep it. It was a gift from my brother, but... Thanks. Here, let me give you this in return. You might need it later on. Now go. Don't worry about me. Oh, we shall certainly be using that. Don't you worry about that, Sunny Jim. Right, well, you enjoy, you know, uh, not dying. And we're going to get back out of here. Ah, uh, oh, that's really annoying me. Just those ink ribbons sitting there. Just eating away at my brain. No, don't need them. Just don't know. No, gone. Yeah, can't hear any zombos. Yep, no zombos. Cool, let's go. Now we've just got to sneak past all of these little bastards again, haven't we? Yes. Sneaky, sneaky. Oof. Yep, see you later. Fuck you, buddy. Kiss my perfectly chiseled shiny ass. Right, there we go. Don't want to bother with the dogs either, to be honest. Now, Zeds have kind of rejoined the party here. It seems there always be Zeds here. There's only two, I suppose. Well, two here, anyway. Are you dead? I mean, like, dead, dead. Yep, you're dead, dead. And that's almost all she wrote for these guns, but... Not quite. Ugh. Oh, no! Zombies! Who would have thought zombies? Yeah. Yeah. Zombies. Because Resident Evil, I guess. 
Uh. Ooh. Anyway, there were zombies around here, but, uh, well, we've sorted that little issue out, haven't we? Now, let's go get our items from the uh, beginning of the game. Yes, remember where Steve... Oh, yeah, there's bullets there as well. Remember where Steve was uh, fiddling with that computer? Not sure what he's doing. Playing Quake, probably. Is that period um, accurate? Yes, I think so. Uh, now, yeah, let's move this out of the way. He sure as hell wasn't doing anything useful with the computer. But then, you know, that's Steve. Steve does very little uh, in the way of uh, useful things. Uh, actually, we can open this now. Check. Yay! More explosive bowgun powder. Good. Just what we wanted. We always want more explosive gunpowder because explosive gunpowder makes the world go round. Well, at least it makes zombies' heads go round as they're tumbling in many, many, many pieces off their rotten shoulders. Right, let's go hoover up the last of our items. Uh, we find ourselves in a really awkward situation here because we're like out of time man please deposit any metallic items you have which is frustrating all right well let's lock those zombies out anyway uh let's grab those I think there's nothing else left in here. You know, I always thought it was a bit weird why there's no zombies that actually came out here. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Right, let's go drop our items back. Um, Yeah, really awkward place to save it, actually, here. But... Uh, I don't have any time to continue this, really, because, uh, well, it is what it is. I mean, we have quite a few flavors there of ammo. We've got like three first aid sprays. More herbs than you can shake a fucking Rizzler at. Oof, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing... Pretty well, I think it's fair to say. And we haven't even touched the grenade launcher yet. We've got hundreds of bolts. We've got 30 gunpowder arrows. Bowgun arrows, yeah, we've got we've got best part of 300 of those. Yeah, I always find this one strange, like just the way this game starts off, you're so stinged out on weapons and then you know like an hour into it you're absolutely laughing you know anyway i am gonna save that here just because unfortunately i have run out of time uh i hope you enjoyed it guys next time we'll go see dr death and we'll go kick him so far or so hard in the nuts that he'll be seeing stars ah wrong game bugger Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.